And the, the strange part about that is that the reason why it's so odd that that continues to, to move on is because Bitcoin mining is actually one of the best technologies that we have on the planet. Like, not, It's not even close for balancing the grid and for making sure the grid is not strained because it is so flexible. Like We were talking to one of these renewable energy generators and they, they said, oh, you guys can shut down quickly. That's great in case we need you to. Like, the, the, We can depend on you for that. And they said, well, can we warn you a day in advance? Is that enough time to warn you? And we said, you can warn us five minutes before. I mean, theoretically, you could, you could, you could warn me seconds before and I just have to have enough time to get to the, to the switch or to get to the remote control. And they are blown away. And this is time and time again, we see this with people in the energy world, people in the grid world, and the average person. When we walk them through the power of Bitcoin mining as a grid balancing technology, they're totally floored because nothing can do it like this. I mean, batteries definitely to an extent can do some parts of what Bitcoin mining can do. So there's a little bit of crossover there where you can help some folks understand if they're familiar with batteries, but it's the amount of load that these miners take on and the fact that they're not a battery, they're just a consumer of power. And the fact that they can just shut off instantly and make that power available to the grid when it's needed most is so, so key. 